Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Hope you guys all had a wonderful Easter with friends and family. Uh, today, we're about two hours south from where we left off. Uh, we were kind of in northeast Kansas. I think we're still in Kansas, we're right on the border, but we basically just sent it straight south in the car and we wound up at this lake. This lake, from first glance, looks incredibly awesome. It looks like a total bass factory. It's got a bunch of flooded timber wood. It's clear water. Uh, I don't know the water temp. I don't know how this lake totally lays out, so it's all gonna be new. You're gonna be learning with me. So um, yeah, I'm excited to get in the boat. Just drop Murray in and uh, let's get some fish. I was not proactive last night, so I did not charge my GoPro batteries. So I've got a charging on a little charging block called a Dakota Lithium. They are freaking sweet. Basically an outdoorsman's tool if they carry any electronics. What do you think, brother? I think we're gonna find these fish on beds. What? I think we're gonna find these fish on beds. Why do you say that? The water temp's 64. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's 64. It sucks though. Look at all this wind. It's actually 64 degrees. 64 degrees. I just hopped in the boat and Murray enlightens me by saying the water is 64 degrees. And if that means nothing to you guys, 64 degrees in my mind means these bass are pulled up and they're on beds. And I also just thought of this right now, like two days ago, wasn't it a full moon? Yeah. Oh my gosh, when the water temperature hits like 61 to 64 degrees and there's a full moon close by, like there's gonna be females and males pulling up on the bank to do their deal in the spring so uh, I haven't fished for betters yet this year it's really 64 yeah, 63.9 okay okay there's okay if, if, if we, gotta, we gotta at least search a little yeah bit we have to search. search if this if if they're doing anything what they should be doing they, they should be on this. this is freaking crazy this is so crazy I have never ever in my entire life fished a lake with more flooded timber than this one. Like I've been to Mexico, like I've been to crazy lakes in northern Canada, like this is insane. Here, I don't know. I don't have a very good zoom lens, but can you guys see that? All that flooded timber, then even just right by the shore here, like look at all that. That is, that is insane. All right, so clearly there's no lack of structure in this lake. But uh, if these fish are truly on beds, step one is to find a bank, I guess that's semi-calm, but has sun in it. Go up there with your trolling motor and just look. You don't even need to grab a rod, just look. Cause if those buck bass and those male bass are up there, you'll be able to see them. And then if they've made any beds yet, you'll definitely be able to see the beds. So that's what we're gonna kind of do. It's kind of windy today for bed fishing, but we found a little cove and a cut right here. Oh I don't know, it's worth a shot. Alrighty, we just pulled into this calm little cut and Murray instantly just sees two beds. One of them super skittish, so it means like they probably just pulled up either last night or maybe even today. Um, I don't know, if we can find any fish that are locked on beds, that'd be really cool to fish for them, but it's, it's just really cool to see bass spawning already. Oh my gosh, this is what I've been waiting for. This is the itch that we needed to scratch. Fish on, got him. Oh, wow. Oh, that was sick. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, that was sick. Get up here, you sucker. Oh, flip him in here. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh my gosh. That's my first bass of the day. Hey, look how gorgeous it is. I'm gonna get her back really quick and I'll talk to you guys. Right back to the bed she goes. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. Literally, last night was a full moon and now we go out today on this sneaky little lake and um, it's dead clear and the water's 63 degrees. And me and Murray kind of look at each other and we're like, Dude, there is there is a really good possibility that we find some bass on beds today. And we kind of pulled up in this little pocket and boom, 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 we see a couple of little bucks that are already pulled up. And we're like, oh. So we're just making really long casts in super clear water. We're trying not to spook them and then getting a couple hits. So we're on to something. We're on to it. I take it. We got more. Do we 
off the motor? Yeah. Well, dudes, oh my God. Look at all those loons. All right, dudes, it is currently 7.08. We have, we're, we're, I don't, I, I'd like to say struggling, but I don't really know. I've caught in one fish, so he's caught in one fish. We're, we're pretty much just kind of doing a lot of soul searching right now. We're, we're pretty much going to the calmest part of the lakes and just looking for beds because like, like Sobe said earlier, the water temps are, are pretty much perfect right now. So we're pretty much just going around looking for beds. We've probably seen probably 15 fish on beds, but they're super, super skittish. They, they won't bite. So I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know. I don't even know. There we go, guys. Fish on. Oh my gosh, he smoked. Oh my gosh. Oh, damn. Get up in here. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, he was so mad. He was so mad. <laughs> that is a gorgeous Kansas bedding bass. Look at that. Right in the top lip. Absolutely smoked it. Earlier this afternoon, I came in here and I had the same like little white floating worm on and he hit it and I went Whoa! and he hit just below my hook and took my little worm off. Dang, gorgeous. I'm gonna get her right back on her bed. There she goes, right back down her bed. Oh, that's yes. sick. Yes. When you're bed fishing with buddies, a lot of times it's the best to just kind of take turns because we're kind of fighting the wind, we're fighting the sun here, and we've basically been fighting the wind all dang day. We're finally found a cut that's got zero wind, and Murray just goes up to the front and he says, dude, I'm just gonna hang out on the front trolling motor, we're gonna wait till the slick's over and you're gonna pitch in there and it's gonna eat it. And that's exactly what happened. Thank you so much, Murray. That was sick, dude, that was so <sighs> textbook. Dude, that was so like textbook bed fishing. This is fun, this is just the start of bed fishing, guys, and um, Wow, we can't get enough. So I think we're gonna kind of keep dinking around here. I don't know how much more we can really do out here because the wind is so heavy. There's just a couple of little pockets that um, we found fish bedding that we can actually fish because it's not windy. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That chalks off another day in the books. All right, so I didn't talk about this on the water at all. As soon as we basically dumped in, we looked at the water temperature and we're like, okay, there's definitely gonna be fish on beds. We went right to the shoreline, put down our trolling motor, put on our polarized glasses and just looked, looked, looked. This lake is kind of tough to like maneuver around because there's so many just trees and logs in the water. So we're banging into stuff, just crawling, crawling, crawling. We went back into a back cut. And as soon as Murray saw a fish actually on a bed, I was like, okay, like game time. I sat down, I didn't have any of the cameras running or anything. And I re-rigged up like four different rods. Here's just like, some really quick go-to uh, bed fishing baits that I like to throw. This is just like a small little Texas rig with kind of like a white and brown worm. This is actually a floating worm. I don't know the brand or what it is exactly. I have a whole package of them, but um, this is a floating worm. As soon as I get in its bed, that worm sticks right up. And since it's white and brown, like I can see it really well, especially when it's in the wind like this. So I just put it in its bed and I just shake it. And this is actually what I caught the majority of the fish on today. And I, I just love this. This is like my go-to, just a floating white worm. Uh, second, it's always key to have a drop shot or just some type of weightless, whether it just be a weightless Senko or just a drop shot with like a little robo worm or just any finesse worm. Again, I have white so I can see it because it was so hard to actually just see these fish when they're moving by your baits because of the wind. Uh, next, I have another Texas rig, but a craw. This is a little white craw. And um, again, just so I can see that lure in its bed. It has nothing to do with matching the hatch or because there's shad in here or anything. You could use any color, especially if it's super calm day and you can see your baits 100%. Like I probably wouldn't go with white. I'd probably go with a little more natural approach. So white craw for me. And then last but not least, I always love, especially for smallmouth, even though we're like in an all largemouth lake, I love to have a Ned rig tied on. This is a little bit bigger Ned rig. I got some stuff on it. I love a Ned Rig. For some reason, a Ned Rig just pisses fish off. And that's basically the goal of bed fishing. You kind of just want to piss that fish off enough so that he strikes at it and moves it out of your bed. Because they're not really eating it to eat your bait and um, get full. Like they're eating it to move it off their bed or just eating it because they're so mad that you're in their bed. So that's just like four setups I tied up quick. And uh, yeah, it was an awesome day on the water. Murray and myself had a blast just kind of exploring this new little lake. I think we're gonna kind of transition now and um, 
we might travel a little bit farther south or we might travel more east toward Lake of the Ozarks area. Hopefully they're kind of doing the same thing because I feel like I just scratched the surface. I just barely scratched my itch of bed fishing. Like I want to pull up to a bank and I want there to be 50 bass in it so I can just go through them. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode. I really appreciate you guys taking your time out of your day, watching this video and um, kind of supporting Murray myself as we're down south on this little tour. Uh, we're having a blast. Like the temperatures are starting to pick up back up north. So I feel like when we're finally done here and we go back up north, it'll actually be spring up there. So it's nice to kind of burn some time down south, check out some new areas, meet some new people we've never met. And um, yeah, it's been a blast. So thank you guys so much again. Um, I guess there's nothing else left to be said than uh, stay tuned and let the adventure begin.